Good evening, guys. Hello, hello. Great to see you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Good evening. Ah, hi, Mauricio. Hi, bye. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Really good to see you. Uh, Suyapa, really good to see you as well. Hello. Thank you so much for joining. You don't like Suyapa, I forgot. <laughs> okay, so Dinora, okay. Uh, Amalia. <laughs> no problem, teacher. Thank you for joining. Lady, good evening. And Damaris, too. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Eh, Damaris, solo se me ayuda con su nombre completo, please. Uh, in, the, in the control. Just to avoid difficulties. Guys, happy Thursday. Thank you for joining. How are you people? Are you doing okay? Is everything all right? Yes, right. Yes. I read it okay. for English. You're ready to study English. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Really good. So, um, guys, quick question. Eh, ¿Ya empezaron a trabajar en la plataforma? How you started? No, yet. No, yet. Dinora tiene acceso. Do you have access to the platform? Teacher. Yes, I uh, have access. Okay. Hi, Teacher. Yo tengo una consulta. Dígame, Miss. Fíjese de que yo estuve trabajando ahora en la plataforma, pero eh, no le entendía en los. Ay, no me recuerdo bien cuál sección era, pero la verdad es que intenté reproducir el video que tiene como apoyo y no sé si a todos, pero a mí me apareció el mismo video en todas las, las secciones. Mm -hmm. eh, ya, yeah, de hecho, eh, lo que pasa es que la plataforma se va llenando con respecto a los videos que nosotros vamos creando. Eh, ah, okay. ajá, ese, ese video, si bueno, lo vuelve a revisar más adelante, va a ver que ya va a desaparecer. Eh, pero no es un video de apoyo como tal, you know, no para... Ajá, eh, ajá no para... Ah, ya, ya me acordé con los pronombres, dicha, no podía avanzar. Con los pronombres. Ajá. Mm, la sección okay. de pronombres. Estamos en la unidad 1. Are we in like in unit 1? Uh -huh. Vaya, si gusta al final de la clase podemos revisarlo. So we can check it. Y, y nos indica también uh, como en qué parte you have some difficulties. Tal vez la misma tuvo la misma, eh, la misma pregunta. O eh, está también como stuck en el mismo ejercicio. Ok. Pero nombres. Ya lo vamos a revisar, guys. Um, okay, guys, so let me see. I think I have more people coming in. So, yes, I have Salvador. Good evening. Uh, Georgina, good evening. Abigail, great to see you. Um, okay, thank you for joining, guys. Okay, so please remind me by the end of the class para que lo podamos revisar so we can check. Y revisamos si alguien más tiene algunos, algunas dificultades con la misma parte, right? Um, Alrighty, guys, we are going to get started with station number three. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing um, some imperatives, y el uso of imperatives. But to get started, guys, uh, to start, I just have the following part here. Vamos a iniciar con un repaso de vocabulary. Este es el ejercicio, guys. And... Um, Please, no le tomen foto, don't take a picture, no les escriba. Le voy a dar un minuto. I'm going to give you one minute para que intenten memorizar todo lo que puedan, as many things as you can. So, es una actividad de memoria. It's more like a memory exercise. Tienen un minuto, guys. Vean la foto, no le tomen captura, don't take a picture. Solo intenten recordarla. One minute.
Okay, guys, so time is over. Okay. And let's try to remember a couple of objects that you just saw. Uh, guys, de los objetos que les acabo de mostrar, the objects I just show you, eh, I'm going to give you like one more minute. Les voy a dar un minuto más, guys, para que los puedan escribir. Eh, pueden escribir, please, lo que se recuerden. Can you write down what you remember, guys? One minute. Okay, guys, so how many objects do you have so far? De cuántos objetos se recuerdan from the previous picture, guys? Seven objects, teacher. Seven objects, okay. What Eight. do you remember, guys? Eight, okay. Tell us the ten. objects. Ten objects, all right. Uh, there are 20 objects, so, okay, tell us bicycle, what you have, uh -huh, bicycle, umbrella, umbrella, apple, ball, airplane, Nike, bar, piano. Okay, guys, what else, what else is missing? Beer. Three. Uh, three. Beer. Roca. Beer, like the drink? No, coffee. beer, the pajar. Ah, bird, nine. coffee, nine. Uh -huh. Hand. Hand. Okay. Okay. Umbrella. All right. What about the ones that the, our classmates didn't mention? Guys, quick question. What color is the umbrella? Purple. It is uh, blue. <clears throat> I don't remember. No, verdad? Anybody remembers what color is the umbrella, guys? Maybe uh, uh, I don't know. Red. Okay. Anybody? <laughs> Purple teacher. Purple. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Creo que era blanco con negro. I don't remember. White and black. Okay, so purple, black and white. Okay. Okay, no problem. You tell me later. Uh, guys, how many drinks were there in the picture? Somebody, alguien mencionó por ahí café. So, coffee. Coffee cup. Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me show you y veamos qué más recuerden. So, yes, you mentioned yes. a couple of them. Hands. The umbrella is blue. Coffee. Ah, the umbrella is blue. Like blue purple. Yeah, whatever. Any of those colors. Piano. What do you say? What do you say, Muela? Soft. Is this one tooth? So, we have a tooth. Uh, también tenemos una chita. So, we have a neck. We have an airplane, right? Okay, Hector, no problem. We have a house. I think nobody mentioned that. And we got a birthday hat, right? So into the memory exercise too. But very good, guys. You got 10 out of 10. That's a good number. That's 50%. Very, very good. Okay, guys, what is this object? How do you call it? ¿Cómo llamamos a ese objeto? How do you call this subject? 
Mm. Next. No. A next. Uh, next. Exactly. Yes, that's a next. Como el desodorante, right? So that is the next too. Uh, this is? Bird. Bird. Exactly. So is bird. that a capsule? A what? Sorry? Quetzal. I am not quite sure, but I would say it's a bird. Probably it, it might be the, the Guatemalan the mm -hmm. bird. Mm -hmm. Could be as well. We have a hat. This is a hat, right? So a normal hat, but we can call it a birdie hat. So those are part of the things we have. Okay, guys. I think we got it. We definitely got it. Um, now, uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about some objects. So let me show you a couple of objects that I have here for you. And I have these items, guys. Question number one, how do you call these items? What are their names? Popcorn. What is this item? Microwave. Mm -hmm. So we have a microwave. What is this? Laundry. Uh, yeah, the activity Watch to the this laundry. Dish. Washing? Dish. Clo mm, clothes. Washing clothes. machine. Clothes. Clothes. Yes. Ah, okay. That is a washing machine, right? Una lavadora. Yeah. Exactly. What about this one? What is this? The equator? No. Tiene otro nombre. It has a different name. Um, I don't know. <laughs> First letter goes with uh, B. The first letter is B. Mm. Any idea, guys? Blender. Blender, excellent. That's a blender, exactly. So we have a microwave, washing machine, a blender. What is this? Iron. Iron. Exactly. So this is an iron. And the last one, this is? Mm, or no. No. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> Stuff. Sorry. It's so close. Close, no, close, no. close. But no. It's tough. But the stove is closed, but the stove is como lo que está arriba, right? Um, Los quemadores and everything. But what is this? This part. Oven. Oven. Very good. That is an oven. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have microwave, we have an oven, we have an iron, a blender, and a washing machine. Guys, um, which, which of these items do you find the most, most useful? What you say, teacher? Which of the items, I'm gonna write it. Which of the items, I'm sorry guys, my, my cough is not going useful. Which of the items is most useful? I I use I use full item. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first, ¿qué significa useful, guys? What is the meaning of useful? Útil. Sad. Útil, exactly. So which of these, all of the items are useful? Pero ¿cuál es uh, el más útil? What is the most useful item? Oh, <laughs> all eating. <laughs> All, all of them. Maybe oven. Maybe the oven, okay. Why the oven? Because you can prepare your food mm -hmm. and the other ones you use, but you can replace for the other, um, the other, things or or metals for the, for example uh, you can wash your clothes and when your hands ah, okay yeah. so you don't need a machine yeah 
No, Mr. The Washing Machine is necessary. <laughs> my wife. I'm agree. <laughs> Your wife. Huh? My 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 wife says yeah. uh, this is the your best friend. <laughs> yes, it is your best friend. I mean, not not because we cannot wash. I mean, for example, there is some clothes that I wash it by hand. Um, especially um not not jeans. Well, yes, yeah, sometimes jeans and sometimes my for my clothes or my jackets. So I wash them by hand. But the thing is that the washing machine saves a lot of time, right? So that is the point with that. So saves a lot of time. Okay. So, okay. No, but it's okay. So for you, you mentioned the oven. The oven is the most important. Guys, what about the rest of you? What would you say is the most important item? La lavadora, pienso yo, teacher. Why the washing machine? Yes. Why? Oh, why? Um, um, because, well, this is my own opinion. Uh, you, you can save time. Okay. Maybe you can do another things uh, while you are um uh, washing your clothes mm -hmm. mm, okay okay all right i agree with you a hundred percent okay guys what about the rest which is the most important uh, for you uh, for me uh, the first wash machine and second mm -hmm. and the iron because uh prepare my clothes mm -hmm. and weekend. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, right. And so you wash. Well, sometimes um, you, we have some clothes that you can wash, you hang, mm -hmm. and you don't need to iron. So, yeah. okay, but yes, we need to. Got it, got it. Guys, what, what about the rest? What do you think? What is the most important item? Wash machine and microwave. Why the microwave? Because it's easy and save the save the the dinner or save the breakfast. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, and it's easier, right? To yes. to just go and to to make a pork coat is very delicious and very easy. Ah, to make popcorn. Okay. Yes, that's a really good point. So you can save a lot of time too. Okay, any other blender guys? No. Nobody said blender. No. Wow. Okay, 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 interesting. That's okay. No, we will continue working with these uh, pictures in a moment. But before, guys, um, we are going to check a couple of things. Hi, Hector. Hi, Jorge. Uh, I don't know who else is joining. Okay, so give me one moment. And guys, we are going to check just a little exercise here. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, so please open your material. Open your manual. And go to page numbered, this appears as 11, but this is page, give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, okay, so this is page number, yeah, 11. All right, page number 11, guys, let's go there, please.
Okay, guys. And here we have a little conversation. It says, uh, talk, introduce important information about mm -hmm. a product. And we have this little um, description, this little conversation. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. My voice is uh, really bad. Okay, there we go. And we are talking about manufacturing process, but we have a couple of phrases that we are going to be using. The phrases are what you need, uh, what I would do, what I'm saying, what my friend did was. So let's use these expressions in context. Um, guys, who wants to help me read? I need to volunteer. Okay. Hey, teacher. Thank you, Ezekiel. And thank you, I think it was Mauricio. Mauricio. So Ezekiel, please help me with job. And Mauricio, help me with Kurt. <coughs> Just reading, right? Okay. Okay. Kurt. Do you know why you need to have a good product? Uh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do too is have a quality and product. What do you mean? What I am saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Uh, because of the comp competence, I get it. Yeah. You know, my friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmer. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to, the, to these people. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much. So we have these expressions like what you need to have, what I would do, what I'm saying is, and what my friend did was. So um, really big thing. Um, they are talking about some of the things that their friend did to have better honey. So let's take a look at question number one, guys. It says, what does Kurt friend do to have better honey quality? So what did his friend do, guys? What did get, his friend do? <clears throat> to get the fresh honey from the local farmer. Exactly. So contact local farmers and get fresh honey from them. <clears throat> okay. What about the next? Oh, I see a cat in Mr. Sanchez's camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Do you have a cat? How many do you have? Only one. Yeah, I have two cats. Ah, you have two. Yeah, okay. Because uh, her mom's uh, died when when it they has, were babies. Yeah, more or less twenty or thirty days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When when uh, it's it, it, it's a babies. Uh, but uh, it is black, and the other ones is is tiger. Oh, it has stripes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, it caught my attention because I saw something black. Yeah. Moving, I was like, "What's that?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I was not looking at the camera. I just saw like a, like a shadow, like a sort of shade. I was like, oh my God, the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, but I'm, uh, okay, but it's really nice that you have some cats. Okay, guys. So um, thank you so much for reading, guys. Exactly. They are talking about some things that their friend did for improving uh, or, the, you know, having really good results. But let's take a look at these expressions. What you need? what I would do, what I'm saying, what my friend did was. So we are gonna use these expressions in the following exercise. It says how to use what clauses. What clauses are often the subject of a verb to be, which can be followed by a word, a phrase, or a clause. Uh, and we have some examples. So using those expressions, we are not gonna complicate much guys,
sorry. So using these expressions, guys, let's try to complete exercise number five. It says select the best expression from the table to complete the sentences. For example, number one, my best friend just opened his own shop. How can we complete number one, guys? What you need, what my friend did was, what I would do, or what I'm saying is? What my friend did. What my friend did was open it in a good mall. Aha, uh -huh, very good. There we go. Number two, many people. What about two guys? Oh, I'm sorry, me mutié por error. Okay, so many people want to start their own business. It's lots of information. What about number two? What can we use in? Mm -hmm. What I will do. Ah, uh, what I would do is lots of information. Mm, look, no. many people want to start their own business. What you need? Many people want to start their own business. What you need is What's lots of information. Mm, we can use it, but necesitamos hacer un pequeño cambio. ¿Qué me falta, guys? ¿Qué puedo cambiar para que tenga sentido? Many What people want... Ajá. Uh -huh. We are talking about many people. So, it says many people want to start their own business and you said what you need okay it's okay it's okay we can use that but we need to make a change what you okay. need is lots of information mm, this doesn't make full sense what can i change you pay they uh -huh. so i'm not you but they what they need is lots of information Okay. Okay, very nice. Number three. I don't know where she has to start. What can we have in this one? Mm -hmm. So I don't know where she has to start. Is promote the product online. What can we use here? So lo que yo haría, how can I express that in English? What I would, what I would do. Yes, what I would do exactly is promote the product online. Very nice, okay. And the last one, number four, people don't buy new products because they can't. Is there is no demand? What can we use in the last one, guys? What I am saying is what I am saying is uh-huh there is no demand. Okay, very nice. We are gonna use these expressions later, but pretty much that is the use. What you need, lo que necesitas, what my friend did, lo que mi amigo is all right, what I would do, lo que yo haría, and what I'm saying is lo que digo, lo que quiero decir es. All right, guys, um, today we are going to talk about something very easy that is called imperatives. And uh, we are going to put these expressions with imperatives in a moment. Um, so when we are talking about imperatives, we talk about orders. We talk about <clears throat> uh, orders we receive, expressions we need to mention, but I want you to take a look at this little conversation and I want you to take a look at the bold uh, letters or the bold words. So take a look at this part right there. Okay. 
Okay, guys. So here we have a little conversation. The person is it. The person says, um, "I am going to explain what you must do in the production line," and they start talking about the steps. Uh, guys, who wants to help me read? I want to uh, Perfect, perfect, Dinora. Please go ahead. I can help you. I am me. M is. Oh, from nu Nunez. You can start with Nunez. Okay. And who, who is um, um, the first? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, you can read only this part, Miss ah, okay, Nunez. Okay, okay. Yes, only okay. the chart. Mm -hmm. um, convey your pen. Mm -hmm. Please push this red button. Mm -hmm. Second, grab a pair of thumb and pick every, every, every piece of chocolate. Read mm -hmm. this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in this chart. Third, Place the defective de, 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 de chocolate in this funnel. Mm -hmm. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Okay, sounds really, really good. All right, guys. So let's take a look at a couple of expressions there. First, eh, thank you so much, eh, Dinora, for that. Veamos un par de expresiones, guys, that might be new. First, let's take a look at this one. We have grab a pair of thongs. Guys, what is the meaning of grab? What is this word? What is grab? Tomar, agarrar. Okay. So grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. So ¿qué se les ocurre with this one? I don't know. Uh, first, ¿de qué estamos hablando? What are we talking about here? ¿Qué creen que están haciendo? What are they making in this company? Chocolate. Probably chocolate, right? Yeah. So grab a pair of tongs. ¿Qué son las tongs, guys? What is that? No sé, teacher. Lengua. Ah, se parece bastante lengua, but digamos, guys, estamos cocinando, we're cooking, and you are making some meat, and I tell you, hey, grab a pair of tongs. Banda. So what is, uh, yeah, what is it? Una panda. Panda. Got a price. A the chocolate and the bone. Mm -hmm. So how oh, do you no. call, como le llamamos a lo que usamos, guys? Um, para no tocar la comida, not to touch objects. Guante. Mm, oh, no, something bigger. <laughs> something larger, larger, larger. <laughs> I don't have a picture for that. Yeah, so exactly. We use kind of some, um, uh, utilizamos como tenacitas, right? Tenaces, so we call them tongs. Mm -hmm. And pick every piece of chocolate. Read the chart and check every piece. Ah, look, no se está dando pasos. They uh -huh. are giving some steps. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Third, ah, okay, otro paso. Place the defective chocolate in the funnel. Finally, fill in a report, okay. These are the steps. Yesterday, when we when we were cooking, no, not cooking, but when we were talking about steps, también describimos pasos. We describe steps too. So a eso le llamamos imperatives. In other words, guys, imperatives son órdenes. They are orders or steps. And now, um, in the imagine that we are talking about a couple of objects. For example, 
Okay, como uh, how to use the iron, how to use the toilet paper, how to use, guys, ¿qué usan en su empresa? What do you normally use in your company? ¿Hay alguna maquinaria especial que ocupen? Do you need to use anything? Tester. Tester. Okay. Tester. Guys, and, and the rest? Computer. A computer, okay. Yes, that works. Okay, guys, let's do the following. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a trabajar listening a little bit. Um, with listening, tenemos un par de restricciones, but we're going to do the following. Les voy a compartir here a little exercise in the chat. Please, everybody, um, guys, go to the chat. This exercise is one minute 20, probably. Something like that. Like one minute, a minute 20. And these are the steps how to use the photocopy machine. So watch this one. Uh, you have like two, three minutes. Watch the video, listen to the video, and later, guys, you will tell us the steps. So I'm going to close my microphone so you can practice there. Juan Jose, hi, Juan Jose. Thank you for your camera. Noe, good evening. Hi Blanca, Hola, good, evening. good evening. Kenya, good evening. Great good to evening, see you guys. Teacher. Hi Georgina, good evening. Hi girls. All right, so girls, uh, we good have evening. like three minutes. Listen to the description on how to use the photocopy machine. And then you tell me, right? What you understood. Guys, solo les voy a pedir no subtitles. No le pongan subtítulos, no subtitles, guys, eh, no caption, no le pongan nada más, right? Don't put anything else. Solo el oído, guys. Veamos qué tanto logramos captar, right? How much we can get from it. Three minutes.
One more minute. <laughs> so carnaval, hey, come on, it's okay. You make us go to San Miguel. Okay, guys, so how are you doing there? Did you finish? <laughs> Not yet? All right, I'll give you one more minute.
Okay, guys, so let's uh, talk a little bit about what you heard. Uh, question number one, guys, did you um, understand most of the video or was it difficult to understand it? It was difficult. Only on the only on the fan printer. <laughs> only that. <laughs> okay. And with that accent printer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Ezekiel says it's not an American native. It's a he, the person is a native speaker, but it's not American. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Okay, printa, guys, <laughs> besides printa, what else did you understand? Um, print like. Mm -hmm. so um, printer, why I'm black. Mm -hmm. Color. Mm -hmm. Black. Okay. Use the key. Mm -hmm. Place your document face down on the glass and press the green button. Ah, okay, very nice. Very nice. Oh, you understood a little bit. Okay, uh, was it difficult for you to understand it too, Mr. Narvaez? Excuse me? Was it difficult for you to understand the, uh, the audio too? Uh, yes, typical. And it's a uh, little. Okay, guys, why was it difficult? Because of the accent of the person or because of the vocabulary? Because she is speaking more, more fast. Oh, the person speaks fast. Okay. I thought the person spoke kind of slowly. All right, all right, very nice. But we kind of got the idea on how to use the printer, right? Now, guys, we will do something very similar here. We are not going to make a video, but we are going to describe this process. We're gonna describe the process of a, how to use this item. So guys, we are going to make five groups and we are going to try to describe a step by a step, right? how to use the microwave, how to use the um, washing machine, how to use the iron and so forth. So uh, group number one, uh, Jorge, Kenya, uh, Salvador, and Damaris, you are going to be working with the oven, how to describe, wait. So group, group one is gonna be the oven, how to use the oven. Uh, group two, so group two is gonna be, um, take a look. Andrea, Blanca, Juan Jose, and Noe. Guys, yours is going to be the washing machine. So what are the steps, right? What is something we gotta do, washing machine? Uh, number three. So group three is Abigail, Mr. Narvaez, Ezequiel, and Lady. Guys, you're gonna tell us a little bit about the iron. So how to, um, how to use the iron? What are the different uses we can give it? Um, Abigail Mendoza, uh, Hector and Dinora. Guys, you're gonna tell us about the blender. So how to use the blender. And Georgina, Mauricio and Michelle, you're gonna tell us guys about the microwave. So group number five, that is gonna be the microwave. Um, if you heard in the video, they use all the connectors, first, second, third, etc. So guys, we'll do exactly the same. We're gonna use like all of these connectors to try to describe the steps. Um, big recommendation, remember, in cada uno de los grupos, ustedes pueden compartir pantallas. So abren un documento de Word, compartan pantalla, vayan haciéndolo juntos. La idea no es que una sola persona hable o una sola persona lo haga, but the idea is everybody participates, right? And everybody um, va aportando ideas. So, for example, in the microwave, van a encontrar la palabra eh, bandeja. How do you say bandeja in a microwave? Uh, 
Um, for example, in the washing machine, voy a encontrar la palabra rinzo o detergente. How do you say detergente? How do you say rinzo? How do you say lejía, se quiere la lejía? All those things, right? Um, so, hagamos una lista de los pasos, guys. What is first, what is second, what is third, and then we present it. Um, so, guys, let's go to the groups, please, and inviting you over. We have like five, ten minutes max to make it, and then we present it. So, guys, enjoy it. Let's go to the groups.
Hi, Damaris. Hi. ¿Estabas en algún otro grupo tú? Eh, me acabo de conectar porque que salí del trabajo y me tuve que desconectar y ahorita me estoy reconectando. Ah, ok. Vaya, a nosotros nos habían dicho, bueno, en el grupo que estaba yo, solo escuché que dijeron que íbamos a hacer los pasos para utilizar el horno, el oven. Ajá. Pero este se me salió de la compu, entonces ya no pude estar en el grupo, pero yo ya empecé a digitar algo. Ajá. Vaya, yo le he puesto que first we have to decide, bueno, que primero tenemos que decidir qué queremos, si hacer como hornear pan o Ajá. queremos hacer algo como rostizado, que sería como un pavo. Ajá. Entonces, para mí que es más fácil quizás lo del pan. Lo del pan, ajá, exacto. Ajá. Entonces, para mí, como el pan ya va a estar hecho porque solamente quiere el uso del horno. ¿va? Ajá, exacto. Ajá. Entonces, este, creo que tendríamos que usar lo de las bandejas y esas cosas, pero no sé cómo se dice bandeja. bandeja. Ahorita lo investigamos. Try, dice aquí, pero no sé. Ajá, exacto. First, we put the bread um, calentar. In, in a tray. Uh -huh. Este, then, sería de que nosotros este, pongamos la el pan ya en el First is on the. ¿El qué? On the, on the over. On the over. We primero. Put, no, primero el pan en las bandejas que vamos a meter al horno. Y, eh, o sea, que es el funcionamiento del horno. Sí. Va, entonces meter el pan al horno sería ya como lo último. No, pero poner, no, primero poner la bandeja en el el pan en las bandejas ah ok ajá, después se, vamos a meter digamos las bandejas al horno y después ajá, codificas el tiempo ajá eh, entonces sería de en, vaya pero para, cómo se dirá meter el, la bandeja en el horno we vamos a poner mejor we put again ajá, ajá. we put de trace se dice va trace on the over on the over in, on the, no in dentro in I, in over in over uh -huh. okay hola Hey, hi everyone, so we are finally coming back. Ahorita regresamos, but let's take a look at what you got. Creo que me faltan algunos, yes. Vamos a darles unos segundos mientras regresan. Guys, lograron terminar? Teacher, con Kenya estábamos apenas poniéndonos de acuerdo. Oh, ok. Ok, ok. ¿Cuál era el de ustedes, girls? El horno, teacher. Es que yo me ah, desconecté my... en lo que venía del trabajo y me volví a reconectar y de un solo me tiró al grupo con ella. Ah, ok. Got Ajá. it, got it. Vaya, mis tranquila, pero le agradezco por conectarse, mis. Thank you so much for putting here. A Kenia, no sé si usted avanzó solita o si no, acá lo hacemos juntos, no hay problema. Yes, I have some ideas. Ah, I write okay. something. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Guys, let's get started. Uh, iniciamos like in order they were here. So let's get started with the oven. Guys, who has the oven and how can we use the oven? Oven? Group number. Ah, okay, wait. Okay. Okay. Vamos con la washing machine, yes? Eh, I, I was the first group, but 
eh, yo me desconecté, cuando yo entré ya estaba sola y yo hice algo sola, pero no sé si los que estaban también ahí ya habían hecho algo. Decir mis ideas? Claro, Miss, nosotros le ayudamos, we can help you. Guys, ayudémosle uh, a Kenia, you know, a completar la idea with the microwave, please. Is a oven. Mm -hmm. uh, first, we put the bread in a tray, then we put the trays in an over. After that, we select the temperature approximately uh, one, okay. 180 degrees uh, for uh, 40 minutes. After that, uh, we have to monitor the cooking in the oven, the bread cooking in the oven. Mm -hmm. After that, in my case, I I saw to my mother uses a knife to see if the braille is the rope. It's or... ready. Ah, okay. Yes, it's ready. And when the time is over, you can use um, a cooking gloves for because the bread is hot. And after that, you can enjoy your food. Wow, that was a very nice description. I mean, I think it's just all right. I wouldn't include anything else. Oh, maybe I would just include um quick question. Necesita calentarlo antes? Do you need to preheat it? The bread. No, the the oven. I know you have microwave, right? So the microwave. No, no, oven. The company. Ah, okay. No, oven. Uh -huh, Teacher, I don't know because I never, eh, nunca he usado un, un, este, un horno. Oh, <laughs> I, I invent. <laughs> oh, interesting. Wow. Okay. 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 Guys, the expert. Where are the expert guys? <laughs> the ones who can cook. Guys, I don't know. I'm not much into oven. I'm not an oven girl. So, do you need to preheat it? Uh, so preheat yes. it es como calentarlo con anticipación, right? Do you need to preheat the oven? Yes. So it is necessary, like, like how much time? Um, creo que depende de lo que voy a cocinar. Por ejemplo, aquí en la casa. Bueno, cuando hacen paolo, se calientan antes del horno antes de meter. Okay, so you preheat it. Yes, I think for cookies, I would preheat it too as well. Okay, amazing. Wow, me llamó la atención, Kenia, que no, no es una joven girl tampoco, pero pudo escribirlo. So nice, it's really good. Okay, guys, I'll give you an emoji. Wait, you deserve it. <laughs> that was really cool. Okay, guys, next. Uh, so who is in the second group? The second one we have is a washing machine. Guys, how do you use a washing machine? Very easy. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. The washing Hi. machine. Hey, let's um, the washing first, machine. Okay, first turn on and open the washing machine. After put the dirty cloth inside the washing machine. Add detergent and softener to the tray. Close the lid of the washing machine. And to finish, select the washing machine mold to clean the cloth. That's all, simple. <laughs> okay, it's simple and easy. But the problem is when there is no water. <laughs> yes, yes. So we forgot it to include, I think, yeah. that part, right? Like, if there is no water, use the wakal and put some water in. <laughs> no, very nice. Okay, that's, yeah, as you said, simple and easy. You don't need to complicate much. Oh, probably solamente como select the, in my, in my washing machine, you can select, um, I don't know. Like a speed, I think it is. Um, like the kind of fabric. Se puede seleccionar el tipo de tela, the kind of fabric, 
or if it is heavy or heavy um, uh, things, the ones that you need to wash, right? But okay, amazing. Sounds really good. Okay, guys, let's go with the next one. Who has the one for the iron? Yo, teacher. Okay, Exekiel's group. Exekiel, ¿cómo va a ir por con el baile? ¿Todo bien? ¿Everything all right? Yo digo que bien, teacher. Pero si no el público. Oye. No se oye. <laughs> De veras. <laughs> Se nota que es musician, Ezequiel, so ya va a poner a cantar. Que baile, que baile. Ay, no, no, ahorita no, no es que no siempre se hay sesiones. ¿Perdón? No se escucha, no se escucha ningún tipo de... Si no escuchara es tenedor. Pero bueno. Ok. Lo, lo leo, ¿verdad? Eh, yes, please. Ok. First, we connect the iron to the electricity. Then we turn on the iron. After that, we place the t-shirt on the, the ironing board. Then we start to iron it. And finally, we hold the clothes in a hook. And that's all. Okay, okay. Leo, well, yes. No, no, no. Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. No worries. Okay. And actually, we can hear you like uh, loud and clear. Um, okay. Very nice. Guys, there is a, only a word que no la mencioné. I didn't mention. Y creo que la escucho por ahí, que es como conecto electricity. En inglés podemos usar la palabra plug. Para decir como eso de enchufar, right? Enchufar. Or, uh -huh, we can use plug, plug, um, plug in. No sé si he escuchado plug unplug. Uh -huh. sí, sí, sí. En música se escucha mucho tú. So, plug, plug in. Plug in okay. es como enchufar, right? Okay. Or, also, we can use unplug, right? So, desconectar as well. Como desenchufar from, from the electrical um, source. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. But that was a very nice one. That was a really cool one. All right, guys. Who is next? We are still missing the blender. Who has the blender, guys? Okay, teacher. Hi. Hi. Um, first, set up your blender on a cool, flat surface. Second, add your blender, add your ingredients. Fill the jar with the jury ingredient in this order. Liquid, softer ingredient or powder, hard or frozen ingredient. After, secure the lid tightly. Next, next start the blender, then serve you server and, and enjoy. If you need to clean your blender. Oh, very nice. I like the description. And you included clean the blender too. <laughs> okay. Wow, guys, you are super pro. So you are really good at this. But you don't need like much help. All right. Very nice. Now let's move on and let's try to just complete some exercises in your material. You will find this in page number 14. And it says imperatives. So really quick, it says imperatives. We use them to give orders, instructions, or make an invitation. That is important as well. Ya vamos a trabajarla, guys, en la parte de instructions. Because right now, solamente eso serían guías. Those are guidelines, right? So one more time. Um, it says that... Uh, lo utilizamos, por ejemplo, read the chart and check every piece, como lo que ustedes acaban de hacer. Unplug the cord and connect the blue one. Fill in a report about the defective pieces or verify the oil level. So, hablando de procesos, talking about process, I have this exercise for you. Eh, seguimos un poquito con comida. And here, guys, tenemos un diagrama. Look at the diagram on how this chocolate product is made. Label 
each step in order using the words in the diagram. Y en el diagrama tenemos un par de palabras. Guys, ayúdenme a pronunciarlas, please. Uh, help me and pronounce with me. We have separate. 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 Check. Check. Label. Label. Assemble. Assemble. Form. Form. Mix. Form. Mix. Ground. Ground. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, um, here in the part below, tenemos, un well, tenemos los pasos. We do have the, the steps. ¿Cómo hacer chocolate? Seguimos con chocolate, guys. <laughs> Creo que después de la clase ya no van a querer chocolate again. <laughs> mm -hmm. So look at this one. Um, okay. It says um, match. So utilizamos los verbos de arriba. Let's use the verbs on top to complete the description of the guidelines on how to make chocolate. Guys, we have five minutes at the most. Recordemos que ground, ground es como um, cuando molemos algo, you ground them, lo hacemos pedacitos, momojitas, right? Uh, we have label, guys, ¿qué es label? What's that? ¿Alguien ha visto label? Etiqueta. Etiqueta, very good, o etiquetar, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, etiqueta or etiquetar. Uh, we have the next one that is um, assemble. What is assemble? ¿Qué se les ocurre que es? Como armar. Como embolsar o armar. Armar, exactly. Claro, yes, it is armar. Okay, guys. So, armémosla. Let's put it together, all right? And uh, I'll give you some minutes. I'll give you five minutes para que podamos completar these steps.
Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Not yet? Not yet, teacher. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes. I think finished, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, very nice. So Abigail is done. Let's wait for the others. Remember, guys, that uh, this word powder, uh, when we are talking about chocolate, if you have ever uh, eaten or tasted choco panda, so choco panda is a uh, powder chocolate, right? So that's powder. Teacher. Hello. Uh, a question. Beans mm -hmm. es aquí como granos, vea, como semillas. Yes. No yes. como frijoles, vea. <laughs> eh, de hecho es que beans son como la forma de frijolito, pero el chocolate. ¿Ha visto alguna vez uh, el cacao? Sí. Sí. So el, ca Ajá, el cacao es como un frijol grande. Okay. okay. Como las sí. chispas, teacher. Como las... ¿Cómo se le, cómo le llaman? No le llamamos semilla. Sí, semilla. Semilla, semilla de cacao. Sí, semilla oh. de cacao. Oh, ok. So, en este caso, la semilla de cacao sería un bean, cacao bean. Mm. Ok. Sí, yo siempre relacionaba bean solo con los frijoles normales que conozco. Sí, sí. Es, es que, que tiene de hecho forma son de frijolitos. frijolitos. Ajá, pero un grandecito. frijolito grandote, cabal, cabal. Sí. Okay, That's why it's a bean. ¿Cómo siguió, Damari? ¿Está malita todavía? Fatal, ticha. Me estoy ahogando. I know, miss. Buy a pura agua or something. Creo que bastante viral, right? No sé si alguien más anda así, ando mal de la tos, de la gripe, but be careful, guys. Take a lot of care porque anda dando, pero es que horrible. I'll give you some extra seconds para que terminemos and then we move on. Okay, guys, so let's compare the answers you got. All right, let's do it together. First one, we have separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans, right? So raw material, we said last time, es toda la materia prima. So sugar, milk, butter, lo que le vayan a poner, right? Uh, second, guys, all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet. What is in the second? Check all the ingredients. Yes. Okay, so check all the ingredients. Lo revisamos later. Uh, next one, the cocoa beans into powder. What is that? Ground. Ground, exactly. Yeah. Como moler, right? Mm -hmm. 
ground the cocoa beans into powder. Next one, the cocoa with milk. What's that? Mix. Mix. Mix the cocoa with milk. All right. Next one, the chocolate package to finish. Ensemble. Assemble the chocolate Assemble. package. Okay. What about a simple paste? Form. Form. Form a simple paste. Okay. Uh, the package. Label the package. Mm. Ah, okay. So label the package. Label. All right. So le ponemos nombre or cantidad or something, right? So label the package. Que le ponga el nombre. Y la última, quality in quality control. ¿Qué sería la última, guys? What is the last? Check. Check. Check again, all right? So check quality in quality control. Very good. And this process goes and on and on and on. Very nice. Okay. Guys, repitamos algunas expresiones que tenemos acá. La primera, guys, repeat with me. Raw material. Raw material. Raw material. Mm -hmm. Y que es materia prima, right? Raw material. Next one, guys. Powder. 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 So, powder is, ¿qué significa powder? powder. What is the meaning of powder? Polvo. El polvo, exactly. Polvo de anything that's powder. Uh, next one, guys. Package. Package. This one. Package. Package. Okay. Mm -hmm. Un paquete. Package. Okay. Package. Very nice. Exactly. And here we have all of these imperatives. Um, imperatives. Um, preguntas, guys. Dudas. They just be fácil, right? No es un tema tan complicado. No, um, talking about imperatives. Lo utilizamos no solo con comida, guys. We can use it for commands of any type. Now, tengo acá un par de ejemplos, positive and negative, y tengo un par de pictures. Guys, look at the pictures. Vean la fotito, repito. Look at it and tell me what is the regulation, what is the instruction. For example, um, La primera, guys, what do you think the first is? ¿Qué representa? Acá arriba, here on top, Be la pueden ver. What is that? Be careful. I'm sorry, what is that? Be careful. Ah, be careful. Yes, we can just be careful with the first. Okay, so precaución, right? Be careful, yeah. okay? gonna select that one. Let's say that is be careful. Okay. What about the second, guys? What is uh, this one right here? The second don't, picture. Don't, don't, smoke. don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Very nice. So don't smoke. No fume, right? Next, guys. What is this? The third. Don't noise. Don't. Noise. Don't, don't make noise. Don't make noise. Exactly. So don't make noise. Exactly. ¿Dónde es común que vean esto? Where do you see this? Very common in El Salvador. In the hospital. The hospital. Hospitals. Yes. Schools. Hospitals. Okay. El siguiente, guys. What is this? What is this emoji? Open your books. Open your books. No. Okay. Yeah, we can use that one. Open your books. Okay. So, abre el libro. Open your books. And this one, the next one. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Let's close the door. Okay. So, maybe close your door. Close. Close. Oh, this. Ah, yeah, I saw it. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. Okay. Close the door. Next one, what is next? Sign your name here. Your name. Ah, okay. So, repitamos. Sign your name. Sign your name. Sign. Your name. sign. ¿Qué sign, guys? Firmar. 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 Que firme. Como cuando se va a casar, right? So, sign your name here. Uh -huh. Ajá. So, well. sign. Yeah, there we go. Sign your name. Next, what is this? Don't shout. Don't shout, no grite, no, I have a headache, don't shout. 
Okay, so we have done shout. Next. Look, look, no. Um. Uh huh. What is this emoji? Go across the road? No. Look <laughs> What don't do you think, guys? Don't, don't enter. Esa no está, teacher. Okay, no, 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 right. no, 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 Pero de hecho, eh, si podemos tener, um, no, 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 the lights. What is that? Cross the road. Cross the road. Mm -hmm. Cross. De hecho, está en rojito, así que si somos pedestres, cross the door, the road. Pero si vamos manejando, don't cross the road. So, ¿cómo hacemos lo negativo? Solo con don't. No. Uh, next one, guys. No parking. What is that? No parking. 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 Don't exactly, park no parking, no here. parking. <laughs> yeah, don't park the car here. Uh, what is next? Look, Look at, at the, the blackboard. blackboard. Look at the blackboard. The Very blackboard. good. Look at the blackboard. Exactly. La ultima, guys, what is the last? Don't, don't enter. Don't enter. <laughs> Ok, bueno, well, de hecho tenemos algo que se llama stop. So, esa sería como una especie de stop. Y es don't enter, don't continue, right? No tenemos la de um, don't switch, switch up your mobile phone. Creo que no encontramos una que sea sobre el teléfono. Probablemente esta. So, probably this is the only one, right? This one right here. So, this is the only one that looks like that. Eh, but it's kind of hard. Okay, so, ¿cómo armo actividades, right, que no me es permitido o que no debería de hacerla? Um, si ven los ejemplos, tenemos don't. Don't smoke. Don't shout. Don't cross the road. Guys, ¿se recuerdan cuando estaban pequeños en yo, your mom, right, Iba y les daba como instrucciones de lo que deben y no deben de hacer. Do you remember the do's and don'ts? Do you remember the do's and don'ts? Lo que debían y no podían hacer. Or yeah. you shouldn't and you couldn't do. So, ¿qué les decían sus papás, guys? What did they tell you? In the church, don't uh -huh. eat. Ah, okay. So, don't eat in the church. Uh -huh. Interesting. Don't cry. In the church. Uh, in the house too. Ah, <laughs> in the house too. Okay, so don't cry. Don't eat. Okay. Don't run. Don't, don't run. run. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Pelear, teacher. How do you say pelear, guys? Pelear. Uh -huh. Fight. Fight, exactly. So don't fight. Don't fight. Uh huh. I pelear, me. You fight. Teacher. Wait. Hello. No. Where? Laura. No, sibling. Hermano. Ah, que no peleara con su hermano. So don't fight with your siblings. Teacher, y pay attention. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, pay attention. O no pay, or don't pay attention. ¿Cuál de las dos? <laughs> Positiva <laughs> o negativa. Mm -hmm. so, pay attention. I, no, pay attention, right? No les decía, no pongan atención. So I remember, um, well, normally, cuando estamos, like, in school, tenemos algunas reglas. Obviously, at home, sus papás le dicen, no llegues tarde, no traigas amigos, no fumes, uh, no andes buscando novia. Yeah. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué recuerden? Uh -huh. In my, in my school, do the homework. 
Ah, que no nos anduviéramos no mojando, teacher. Ah, don't get wet. Ajá, uh -huh. so take your umbrella, don't get wet, ok. Um, do your study. Ah, study, exactly. For example, en mi escuela, my school was very strict. So ellos decían, don't put on makeup. Y las chicas no podían usar maquillaje, so don't put on makeup, right? Eh, ellos decían, no se colore el cabello, no se pinta el cabello. Don't color your hair. And no era permitido, it was not permitted. ¿Se recuerdan de su escuela? Do you remember, guys? Yes, teacher. Sí, teacher. I don't know if you had like a lot of rules or some rules. At the office, for example, en la oficina también, guys, um, or at work, tenemos algunas restricciones, right? Um, don't arrive late. Oh, yeah. So don't arrive late. Okay. Me quedo pensando en... Don't cómo... look at the Facebook. No, really? No, no le dicen así, right? Don't... <laughs> Don? Don't use your cell phone. Don't, reach. Don't use your cell phone, que no usa su teléfono. Yes. But guys, no se los quitan, right? They don't take your cell phone. A mí no me lo volvieron a regalar. <laughs> no, 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 pero en la empresa, like in your company. No es que sea prohibido, si sí es prohibido, ¿es it forbidden? En, alguno, en mi caso no, teacher, pero en algunos lugares sí lo... Lo, no, lo depositan en una zona y lo usan solamente cuando van a almorzar o cuando llevan mm -hmm. a hacer. Yeah. Yeah. Suman, exam, ejemplo. Really? No puedo usar un that. teléfono. Oh. Teacher. A menos que sea un vendedor. Teacher. Ah, ok. Yes, yes, yes. Fíjese que en mi caso yo me crecí en el cerro, fíjese, y mi abuela me decía que no me encaramara los palos. <ríe> Okay. Exactly, so Ezequiel, ¿cómo dice eso? In, in, pero no, vamos a decirle, no, no le voy a decir tan literal. Montar. How do you say subirse? Trepar. Este, uh -huh. Climb. Climb, exactly. Climb. So don't climb on trees. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. <laughs> Ezequiel, you're terrible. But thank you, ya me despierto. <laughs> okay, no se encarame. Um, you know, hace mucho tiempo no escuchaba esa expresión. I didn't use that expression in a long, long time. Okay, so guys, we are going to talk about the don'ts, the do's and don'ts at school, at home, at the office. Obviamente en cada lugar que vamos eh, hay do's and don'ts. Por ejemplo, cuando van a una entrevista, ah, you have do's and don'ts. Cuando van al aeropuerto, hay dos and don'ts, cosas que deben de hacer. Son nervios. Ajá, y cosas que, guys, si las hacen, están en problemas. You get in trouble. So, for example, que es algo que no pueden llevar, guys, a otro país que es muy, muy peligroso. O el, Drogas. No te comisen. Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> so, don't take some drugs. Frijoles. En el pasado no se podía llevar frijoles. Um, Mangos. Ah, uh, so don't take some fruit, don't take uh, beans. Uh, ¿Qué no se puede llevar? ¿Quién ha viajado, guys? Pasa. No Usa de las... papelillo, teacher. No se puede, you can't. Porque oh. por, por el la cosito que, que el por el papelillo piensan que puede ser otra cosa. Ah, que la gente okay. la puede camuflajear por otra cosa. Ah, ok. So don't take a strange or exotic food with you. Okay, that's a good point. You know, alguien me dijo, no, uh, una luna actually, I think it was like, teacher, yo llevé el oroco. El oroco no es permitido, you know, so el oroco no se puede llevar um, porque es una planta, but you can't take it. And no sé cómo, but they were like, don't try to take Loroco to other country because it's dangerous. <laughs> Se metió en problemas por eso, you know, she got into big trouble. So, guys, ¿cuáles son los do's and don'ts del school, home, and your office? Guys, I'm going to send you for five minutes. Los voy a enviar one more time para que vayamos a los grupos. Vamos a hacer más pequeñitos. Uh, vamos a hacer menos grupos, actually. Less groups para que puedan escuchar al resto de compañeros. Um, Abigail, 
Ambos Abigail, quédense acá, porfa, este giro. Jorge, ambos Jorge, quédense acá. Dinore, quédense acá. Eh, Andrea en Antonio. Mauricio, quédense acá. Please stay here. Okay. Guys, los demás, vamos al grupo. Go to the group. Hagamos una listita de qué es lo que podían de do's and don'ts. Lo que se puede, lo que no se puede, lo que no se debe, right? Um, de la oficina. Your office, especialmente si tiene alguna regla súper difícil. Eh, so, office, school, and home. Cinco minutos, guys. Five minutes.
Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hola, Abigail. Hola. ¿Qué tal, Abigail? Bien, ya tengo mis, mis toms. ¿Ya tiene? ¿Cuántas oraciones tiene? Yo tengo... Tiene de school y tiene de, de house. Yes. Okay. Yo solo negativas tengo. ¿Usted tiene negativas y positivas? No, yo solo negativas. Mm. Negativas. ¿Y de, ca ¿Y de casa también? Yes. Ajá. ¿De office tiene? Yes. Office. Esta me falta a mí, que ahorita las estoy haciendo. Ok.
Hi guys, how you doing? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Si gusta, compartimos nosotros, Yapa, en lo que Mauricio completa. Teacher. Sí. Teacher. Ay. Teacher, me dijo usted que me quedara con el grupo que usted había armado, pero me salí y me fui para otro grupo. <risa> sí, me di cuenta, yo lo traje de regreso. <risa> <risa> pero ya hice las, las cositas. Me da Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. La idea era como compartirlas, right? Sí, yo sí. lo sé, pero me equivoqué. No, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Me imaginé eso, that's why. Me lo traje de regreso. Lo llevo a pasear. Sí, lo llevo a paseando por allá. Hola, dígame. No, que lo llevo a pasear. <risa> <risa> Okay. okay, yeah, okay. no, it, it's okay, no worries, guys, totally fine. Okay, totally fine. Okay, um, okay, guys, so cuéntenos. Primero, vamos con las negativas. ¿Qué es lo que ustedes no pueden hacer in your companies? Me interesa, I don't know why. ¿Qué no les has permitido, guys? Don't arrive after seven. Uh, Because ah. it's my hour. Um, de inicio Ajá, yo start You Ay. start at 7 Ok, so don't arrive after 7 Ok Don't use a cellular phone In the um, Production um, ah. In the plant Ah, ok, so don't use your cell phone Because, uh, because uh, The people uh -huh. Okay, so don't never, use your cell phone. Never, never use it, uh, cellular phone too. But in the production area? Yeah. Okay, so don't use your phone in the production area, okay? Teacher, don't, how do you say chismear? Gossip. gossip. Don't gossip. Don't gossip. Miss, pero eso cómo se lo va a quitar? ¿Cómo nos lo quitamos? <laughs> Eso. Es muy difícil. Sí, tendría que ser como. Ah, este es el arreglo en su empresa, guys. Tienen ese como regla: que no, no chismear, no compartir información, <ríe> no socializar. No. No, teacher. No, Bien, so, teacher, es... en mi área, sí. Really. Oh, sí, my God. Eh, no compartir información, sí, se nos dice. No compartir información de uh -huh. los demás. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, eso se llama gossip. That is gossip. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Anything else? ¿Algo más, guys? Anything uh, else? Don't yes, teach Abigail. O Georgina, no sé quién estaba Georgina, listando. Georgina creo ah. que estaba hablando. Después hablo yo. Ah, ok, ok. Georgina. Uh, don't eat in the desk. Ah, okay. So don't eat in your desk or in your working area. Okay. And Abigail? Okay. Don't romantic relationships between partners. Okay. So don't get. Don't get into romantic relationships with your partner. <coughs> oh, oh, wow. Interesting. Se cumplen oh, mis... Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay, so your company other? is very strict. What other? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Siempre okay. hay relaciones extralaborales. <laughs> um, after the door. ¿Quién sabe? Ah. ¿Quién sabe? Out of the company. Ok, out of the company. Ah. Ok, wow, interesting. Okay. Guys, we'll continue tomorrow porque creo que tienen muy buenas reglas that we, we, we can share. <laughs> and we can discuss tomorrow. What else? Uh, you can and you cannot. Yeah, algunas... Teacher. 
Uh-huh. Eh, cafeteria. How do you say cafeteria in English? Cafeteria, yes. Cafeteria. Okay. Cafeteria doesn't sell breakfast after 8 a.m. Okay. Wait. ¿A qué hora se empieza a trabajar? What time do you start working? A las um, 8. At 8. 8 a.m. Uh -huh. Okay. So después que usted inicia a trabajar, no le venden comida. They don't sell food. No. Ni water teacher. No. What? Why? Anotemos el nombre de la empresa. <laughs> Ni water, water. No, es que acabo de pensar. Y guys, en esto, he estado tan mal de la tos, you know. Imagínense, me estoy atorando. And I need some water. So. Oh, we have, so gran tos, we have oasis. Eh, but uh -huh. sometimes when our cleaning... Mm -hmm. uh, you need water, and one time I tried to buy a bottle of water and uh -huh. say me, no, uh, the uh -huh. time is, I it's can't, over. Say, yes, and I can no. buy a water. So they didn't sell water, what? No. Okay. Okay, mañana no nos gocipea de más de la empresa, mis. <laughs> wow, wow. wow. Uh -huh. But uh but have coffee always do they sell coffee si sí, siempre tenemos café eso es bueno <laughs> ah oh okay so entre todo lo malo that's the good thing that you can find coffee ah oh, okay okay <laughs> i totally get it guys no los quiero dejar ir but it is about time so <laughs> wait solo antes de irse guys le voy a pasar las asistencias super quick Eh, para que ya se puedan ir a dormir tranquilamente. Eh, Miss Mendoza está por ahí. Andrea, no he visto a Andrea. Andrea. No, right, she's not here. Ok, Blanca. Presente. Blanca. Hi. Hi there. <ríe> Bien suave, le escucho la voz. Eh, Georgina. Presente. Georgina, sí, está ahí. Okay, uh, Hector, Hector is there, Mr. Sanchez and Mr. Narvaez is there, Ezequiel, uh, yes. Juanjo, Juanjo is there. Por aquí. Julio is there, Julio Cesar? No, right, I don't see him. Uh, Kenya, yes, Kevin, ven a Kevin, guys. Kevin estaba bastante mal de salud ayer, no lo veo. Vamos, quizás ha sido mal, probable. Uh, Lady is there, Maurice is there too, Noah is there, Salvador is there, Abigail Bonilla, Miss Bonilla, yo creo que estaba por acá, Abigail, Abigail, no, she's not, okay, de hecho no la veo, I don't see her, uh, Michelle, Michelle was there, Dinora, and... Damaris, yes, okay. Okay, guys, amazing. So, thanks, everybody. Gracias a todos por acompañarnos today. Nos vemos el día de mañana para seguir um, compartiendo información de sus empresas. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Have an amazing night. See you tomorrow, Enjoy. teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Please, recuérdeme mañana de la plataforma, porfa. Remind me tomorrow, guys, de la plataforma, all right? Okay, uh, teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow. Two, three, four.